happy Monday morning. I'm off to work and the sunrise is gorgeous this morning. Thought I would share. Good afternoon, you guys. Today is Thursday. And I'm on my way home from work. So on Thursdays for the next five weeks, Dolly and I, my new puppy Dolly, her and I are going to puppy obedience training. It's actually called, at this place that we're going to, they call it Puppy Kindergarten. And it's a really awesome um, little dog kennel place. And they do puppy training on the side. So I found them and what's crazy is they are right up by where I work. I work about 40 minutes from home. So I have to drive all the way home, get Dolly, bring her all the way back up here for an hour of our training. Um, but the training is great, it really is. Um, they are very accommodating and patient. There's other puppies and other um, puppy parents in there with us, so she gets to socialize and I'm learning as well. So there's like a process to training that can be applied to anything that you're trying to train your dog. And I'm learning that process. So I can take that information and use it, you know, on whatever other training I wanna give her or a dog that I have in the future. I probably cannot train copper right now he's an old man i don't think he has the patience for learning anything new right now but frankie maybe i could probably train him to do some things like we're not working on anything extraneous so last time we were there we were working on rewarding your puppy every time they make eye contact with you voluntarily so that was one of the things. Um, another thing was um, preparing them for vet checks or groomings. So you really, like you would, you know, get down and play with their ears or like kind of tug on their tail or get in between their toes and just make them uncomfortable enough that like they get used to it. Every dog needs to be brushed. Every dog needs their nails trimmed. Every dog needs to go to the vet. And if you sort of desensitize them to that, it, it will help. So. You reward them for letting you do that. Um, what else did we do? Oh, we did a drill where every time she touched her nose to my hand, no matter where I put it, she got rewarded. And that goes on, so you can kind of build on that, right? So if she's following your hand, then eventually she will go where your hand tells her to go. I have her trained to where if I put both my hands behind my back, she sits. If I say the word place, she goes to her bed. When I say the word break, she comes off of her bed. And I did that on my own. Um, but yeah, we're really, we're doing really good. And she's very smart and catches on very quickly. So I'm excited. Um, I'm excited to take her back and see what other puppies are there today. Last time there was a Jack Russell named Duck. Oh, he was so cute and he loved Dolly. And there was a completely white pit bull puppy named Jasmine. She was so cute. So I'm excited for that. Um, I'm going to go home. I'm going to change. I have um, jeans on right now. I'm probably just going to put a t-shirt and shorts on. It's very hot out today. The heat index is like 107. It's very hot. I'm gonna stop and find something to eat along the way, otherwise I won't be eating until 8.30 or 9 when I get home. So that's the plan. I'm excited to be vlogging. I hope you guys are doing well. I will check in with you here in a little bit. I got my girl, didn't I? We are on our way to training. She's so good, she rides so well. So she's sitting on her butt right now and she has her paws up on the console and she just wants to be right next to me. But you gotta watch her because last time, last time we were in the car, she tried to jump on my lap. So we can't do that. So 
we got about 20 more minute drive until we're there. We're, I'm gonna stop and grab something to eat. She needs to be hungry during training um, because she needs her treat incentives. So, um, but I might get her some water because she's really hot. It's so, it's so hot out today. She was outside playing. They said that the best case scenario is when your dog comes into training, they are tired and hungry. So, we're doing good. So we are here. I just took Dolly over to the pee and poops area and she went potty. Concrete's hot. Uh, it's not too bad. She is not a fan of the loud barking dogs in there. Sorry. She gets very nervous when all the dogs start barking and she can already hear them. So she wants to get back in the van. <laughs> she has no interest in going in there, do you? So as you know, I've been taking Dolly to practice or to training and I wanted to show you a little bit of how we practice at home. So let me see if I can find a place to set you guys up. Sit. Down. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's see if she remembers this one. So she takes, she needs to be watching my finger. Place. Oh, nope. Nope, she might do it. Very good, very good. Good evening, you guys. Uh, Saturday still, I haven't vlogged for most of the day. I've just been kind of chilling, um, getting laundry done, doing stuff around the house. Dawson had a football game, they won. They did very good, very proud of them. I got my nails, oh, well, I did my nails. I've been doing them, doing them myself for a while now. I did a big chunky French tip. They're entirely too long. I know I won't be able to stand it for very long, but I just wanted to give it a shot. Sometimes I like having my nails really long. It makes me feel very feminine and pretty. So I like them right now. Now when I get to work and I'm clackety clacking on my keyboard, I'm pretty sure I'll have to cut them down. But I got my girl here with me. I'm gonna take her to grandma's to spend the night. Grandma. Grandma calls almost every weekend and she's like, um, can I have your kids? <laughs> and I almost always say yes because, um, like tomorrow morning I have to take Gavin to a private lesson and Britt has uh, pictures with Dawson and like our weekends are very crazy and it's a little bit more calm at grandma's house and I think that my kids appreciate that sometimes. So they like to hang out over there. You good? Flip it around. There you go. There you go. Waiting on Dawson to come outside. He's supposed to be getting his backpack. I have hat hair. I wore a baseball cap, but it has Go our school. It has our school logo on it, so I had to take it off. That Not that I think any of Go you would come after way. us. He's fine. He's fine. Copper, no, you're not coming. Get don't throw it. Dawson, don't throw it. I got him off. Okay. 
What? Yeah, one more thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, one more thing. There, I got him, Mom. He said, I have to do one more thing. <laughs> so I need to play basketball. He's gonna go backwards. <gasps> he made it! Oh my gosh! That was awesome! I got it on camera! I lined up with the camera to the rim. Oh, that was awesome! Okay, let's go to Grandma's, babe. Good afternoon, you guys. It is Sunday. And I'm here with my oldest child, Gavin Brown. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Oh. That wasn't his real voice. <laughs> so we just had um, a brunch. We had, I had, ooh, what are all those? Fentanyl awareness. Oh, people who have overdosed on fentanyl. Oh. And. Um, so Gavin had a private lesson this morning and then we went and got some breakfast and he wants to go to the mall and get some what some turf tape uh -huh. what is turf tape explain that to the class you put on the back of your arm takes you from getting turf turn. oh I expected it to be something different Turf tape. And then what else? What else do we need? I want to get spats. What's a spat? It goes on for your teeth. For what? Hmm? What's the purpose? So you don't like her? You're awfully needy, you know that. They, they both cost stuff. I should be turning left. Why am I not turning left? It says. Um, you're awfully close, Mom. That guy behind me is probably mad at me. Oh well. Here we go. I have not been to the mall, and I could not even tell you how long. Since the incident? Um, I've been there since the incident. So we don't live in this town. Um, we're in Greenwood, Indiana right now, and not too long ago, Greenwood, Indiana Mall took, um, was on national headlines uh, because there was a mass shooting. Um, at the mall. So, it, you're, you, you can look up the story online. It's actually a really amazing story. A Greenwood Park Mall shooting. What, when did that happen? 2021? 20, 20, 2022. 22, like, like, late in the year. Um, November. so this guy came in with, like, rounds and rounds and rounds of ammunition and all these guns, and he was gonna kill everybody in the mall. That was his goal, right? But there was this kid there. He was 17 or 18. He was and, 22. Oh, he was 22. <laughs> I don't have my facts right, apparently. But he had a concealed carry license, and he had a 9mm in his waistband, and he took him out before he could kill any more people. So it's kind of a wild story. You guys should look it up. But it has, it has really hurt... Um, business at the mall so there's not a whole lot left there there's a dick sporting goods and stuff like that but it is not what it used to be since that happened so 
I, I'm anxious to see what it looks like in there. I've been in since that happened, but maybe only one time, so. We got, ooh. We got the turf tape. It's pink, it's the only kind they had. Now we're gonna go walk through the mall and just see, see what we see. I cannot believe we just spent $26 on tape. That was ridiculous. Did you see that guy's face? <laughs> it's very empty in here, is it? Ooh, do we need a bubble waffle? A thick shake? That actually sounds good. Smells good in here. What? Really? Sweet ice. What's a huggy wuggy? I don't like it, it's scary. some boba you got what peach tea and mango boba I got pomegranate pomegranate um, juice and peach boba I think that kid was waving to you he did. did you wave back mm -hmm. okay <clears throat> Good evening, you guys. It is still Sunday. Um, it is almost nine o'clock. I have some water boiling here because I'm trying this new um, nighttime tea. Give me a little cuppy cup. Um, so I'm drinking, let me see, this. So this is Beam Dream, okay? This is CBD nighttime powder, sea salt, caramel flavor, and it really does help me sleep and it doesn't make me feel groggy in the morning. It's gluten-free, no sugar added, vegan, non-GMO, and keto friendly. So it works because it has um, nano CBD, reishi magnesium l-thaline and melatonin all together and it tastes pretty good um sometimes i do add a little bit of chocolate syrup or tonight i'm actually going to add some nesquik just a little bit to um make it a little bit more chocolatey instead of um um it kind of has a um i don't even know how to explain it the influencer that influenced me to buy this made it seem like it tasted really, really good and you didn't need to add anything. That was a lie. You definitely need to add a little something to just kind of take the edge off. It, it doesn't taste like hot chocolate. However, it really does work. It helps me sleep and relax. And I get a really good deep sleep without waking up groggy. So if you're interested, feel free to try that out. I'm not sponsored or anything, but, um, I just wanted to share that with you. Look how cool this thing looks. This is my water boiling pitcher. It also comes with a uh, 
like a tea strainer thing, which I don't use very often. So I've also been drinking in the mornings, I've been putting a scoop of this stuff in my coffee. This is everyday dose. This is mushroom um, coffee. So I just add one little scoop to my coffee in the morning. You can't taste this, but it has lion's mane mushroom in it, which is really good for you. It's got collagen in it um, and nootropics. I don't know what that is. It's just a dietary supplement that kind of helps with, um, it helps with my mood, honestly, lion's mane mushrooms do. So I really enjoy this. It's been helping. Um, it came with this little book, Everyday Dose book. So the collagen obviously is helpful for your skin and your hair and your nails. Um, the mushrooms, honestly, mushrooms are good for everything. People really um, don't give mushrooms credit that they deserve because even though some, most people, some people don't like the taste of mushrooms, eating mushrooms, but there are so many health benefits to them, it's unreal. You should look it up. There's also a documentary on Netflix called Fantastic Fungi. You should totally, totally watch it. So this stuff gives you energy, obviously helps with your skin, hair, and nails, and um, it helps you sleep, it keeps you focused, and for me, it just puts me in a better mood, and that's what I'm looking for. Not sponsored, I just like telling you guys um, the stuff that I'm using, and especially um, if it works for me, I just want you to know about it. I don't gatekeep. I hate this show that he's watching. Ridiculousness. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, I gotta try and get this sticker off here. Pretty good. It will definitely help me sleep. And I need some good sleep. Back to work tomorrow. Still pretty hot. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't super organized or anything, but I just felt um, like picking up the camera and throwing something together. So if you guys did enjoy it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to stick around and we will see you next time. Bye.